Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Ipswich Central Redevelopment Committee number six this 8th of July, 2021. I'd like to <clears throat> begin by uh, moving a procedural motion that in accordance with section... Sorry, this relates to Councillor Nicole Jonick, um, her request to attend the Ipswich Central Redevelopment Committee uh, this morning via audio link um, and that in accordance with section 254K of the Local Government Regulation 2012 and 8.6.2 of Council's Meeting Procedures Policy, Councillor Nicole Jonick be permitted to participate in the meeting via audio link. Could I have somebody move that? Thank you, Mayor Harding, and a seconder. Thank you, Councillor Milligan. Councillor Jonick, are you on the line? I am. Thank you. Good morning. We put the matter to the vote. All those in favour? Sorry if there's no discussion. Confirming that's unanimous and carried. I would like to begin today by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the country throughout Australia and recognise their continuing connection to land, waters and community. I pay my respect to their continuing culture and the contribution they make to the life of this city and this region. I honour the Elders past, present and emerging and I extend my welcome to the Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander people who are present today for they hold the memories, the traditions, the culture and hopes of all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples across the nation. I'd just like to note that Council engaged Black Drum Productions to, to consult uh, with our local Aboriginal and Torres, Torres Strait Islander residents to provide input into what elements could be part of the new structures or design layout in the Nicholas Street precinct. The engagement allowed our First Nations residents to share with the Ipswich community their experiences, rich culture and creative ideas on how the public space could be transformed. The report noted activating the creativity and cultural heritage of the local Indigenous community brings the benefits of better design outcomes with local relevance and culturally safe places where people feel welcomed and respected. Council values the cultural skills and and knowledge of the Indigenous community and incorporating culturally relevant art and design elements will transform how First Nations people engage with the redeveloped spaces and buildings. Thank you. I will now move to item uh, number one which is confirmation of the Ipswich Central Redevelopment uh, Committee Number five, sorry, business outstanding and declarations of interest. I'm in a hurry again today. Thank you, Councillor Milligan. Do we have any conflicts to declare today? No. Any business outstanding? No. So we'll move to the confirmation of the minutes of the Ipswich Central Redevelopment Committee number five, 2021, of the 10th of June, 2021. The recommendation, I will move... Um, the recommendation that the minutes of the Ipswich Central Redevelopment Committee held on the 10th of June uh, 2021 be confirmed. Could I have a seconder, please? Thank you, Councillor Milligan. Is there any discussion? No, there being no discussion, we'll put the matter to the vote. All those in favour, noting that's unanimous on the floor here. Councillor Kunzelman, you're abstaining. Thank you. Councillor Jonick, how do you vote? Thank you, Councillor. Noted that is unanimous and carried. Now move on to item number two, uh, the Nicholas Street Precinct Retail Subcommittee Steering Committee Report, June 2021. Uh, That's a report concerning the Retail Subproject Steering Committee and the status of the leasing program associated developments uh, within the retail component of the Nicholas Street uh, precinct redevelopment. The recommendation uh, is that the June 
uh, committee report be received and the contents noted. I will move that. Can I have a seconder, please? Thank you, Mayor Harding. Um, would anyone like to speak to the relevant council officer? No. Anyone? Councillor John Inc? No questions? No. no, okay. Would anyone like to have any discussion about that report? Mayor if Harding? I, I may, may Chair, just um, obviously we recently had a CBD um, discussion with landholders. Um, and obviously people are wanting to hear who, are, who the prospective tenants are and just um, highlighted the fact that um, councillors and council officers will abide by all the commercial and confidence um, regulations and, and obligations that we have and uh, we won't be announcing them until they're, they're locked and loaded. Um, but it's, it's great to see so much interest in, in the precinct there. Thank you, Mayor. And, um, you know, as, as we were discussing earlier, it, um, it is frustrating uh, a little uh, to attend these committees and, and not being able to share the exciting um, news with residents. But um, commercial in, in confidence um, around the terms of, of these discussions must remain paramount. So we will share those details um, as soon as we can. OK, any further discussion? No? We'll put the matter to the vote. All those in favour? Confirming in the room, that's unanimous. Councillor Jonick, how do you vote? Affirmative. Thank you. That's um, carried. Now move on to item number three, which is the Nicholas Street Precinct Communications, Engagement and Events Report for 2021. Uh, the recommendation being that the... <clears throat> Comms engagement and events report be uh, received and the contents noted. Can I have a mover for that one, please? Thank you, Councillor Milligan, and a seconder. Thank you, Mayor Harding. Can I call on the relevant council officer to come forward, please? Good morning. Would you state your name and position, please? Good morning. Karen Sutton, Communications, Engagements and Events Manager. Um, thank you. Would you mind just giving us a quick update on, on what's been happening down in our precinct? It is a hive of activity, I as know. you can see. Yeah. Uh, so we are well into our school holiday activations. Mm -hmm. uh, this week we have uh, some stage shows. We have PJ Masks. There are three shows daily. And uh, I think the crowd, as you can see, is building every single time we do a show. So um, some really great feedback so far. We've even changed it as the week has gone along and added some uh, meet and greet sessions and things like that. So, so far, very well received. Excuse me, catch my breath. Uh, we also have a series of food trucks that are in the precinct as well. So we have a, roving, a rolling calendar where different food trucks will be uh, heading in each day, just offering something different and uh, some, some alternate lunch options. Okay. Thank you. Um, I, I note from comments within the community that the program has been really well received Fantastic. and the space has been activated um, brilliantly. So thank you for that. Um, any comments around uh, COVID and the impact? Obviously, you guys have had to... Um, you the know. first week of the school holidays, there was obviously an impact with the lockdown. Mm -hmm. um, but so far, everybody's been really receptive. There is the QR code that is in action, uh, and we haven't had any, really pro any real problems with that. People know that that's part of daily life now, and they have been checking into the precinct, as we've asked. Um, we have all of our signage up, and we have uh, people on site to assist with, with any of those things as well. So, so far, we haven't received any concerns. Thank you. Any questions? Any further questions? No? Thank you. Thank you. Now move into discussion. I just, I guess, want to take the opportunity. This is our first Ipswich uh, Central uh, Redevelopment Committee here in our new administration building. So I'd firstly like to start by thanking uh, the CEO and, and all general managers and, and staff at Council. Uh, the, the move um, of such a large number of staff to um, a, a large new building um, has been relatively uh, seamless from what I, I can see and I know from a technology point of view and, and the lifts um, touch wood, um, there haven't been 
uh, too many problems. So you must be commended because that just does not um, happen without a lot of uh, hard work and planning behind the scenes. So thank you. Um, secondly, like to, um, I guess, specifically talk about uh, not only the opening of this building, but more importantly, the opening of the Children's Library. There has been a lot of, I guess, discussion over the last couple of years, commentary around whether or not it was the right decision to dedicate that space um, to a dedicated children's library, one of the first in Australia. Um, you know, I, I did hear some feedback in the community that why would uh, a parent want to visit, you know, have to visit two libraries, the main library, and then head across to the children's. Well, this week, um, it spoke for itself. It has been an enormous... Uh, success and I have had an enormous amount of um, pride in, in being a part of this organisation and for the hard work that the staff uh, have done and probably um, the, um, the, the aha moment for me was walking by the children's library and there was a young mother, she had um, a blanket on the floor and her infant laying on that blanket while she was sitting there reading uh, a book to her toddler. Um, and that is the absolute definition of a dedicated children's library. So I'm just so proud and delighted that we have that open and it's a great offering in our community, but also a great um, attraction, uh, I think, for visitors outside to come and spend their money in our beautiful city. So um, I could go on and on. Just um, delighted and excited that we've finally moved to this stage. And, and, you know, look forward, I guess, to discussions around Metro B, how that's progressing from a construction point of view, but also getting to that day, um, Mr Hepburn, hopefully that day soon where we can uh, start talking about who our, our tenants will be. Sorry. Anyone else like to say anything? Thank you, ma'am. If I may, Chair, I concur with you. Um, from our perspective, the, the move was seamless into one Nicholas Street, yet I'm sure I, I know that obviously there was a lot of hard work, especially being done at the end of financial year. So it's, it's always very, for a government organisation, it has a lot of reporting obligations and a lot of governance obligations to do the same, do the, do the one move in, in, in that one week required a lot of preparation. And I want to commend the, um, the CEO and, and her team for, for what she has done there. Um, the Children's Library, wow. I mean, on, on the day of the opening, we had people from Ipswich and outside Ipswich, mums from Gatton and Brisbane and Mogul and, and, and so on, um, that were here. Um, I popped in on Sunday as well. It was just busy and lots of fun. It's such a great vibe. It's such a beautiful, beautiful space. And I think Ipswich should be very proud of the fact that we are the... Uh, we have the only dedicated children's library in Australia. And I know that we had uh, people from other councils here at our opening. And they, I know... I won't mention who they, who they are, but they've all come back saying that they're going to be hitting up their council for dedicated children's libraries as well. I love that. <laughs> thank you. Chair, if I may, mm -hmm. if you'd indulge me. Sure, thank you. Um, Two comments, if I can, just please thank you for your comments uh, and the committee's comments. But I must uh, publicly, if I may, pass the thanks absolutely directly on to Acting GM Infrastructure and Environment Department, who has uh, led this project in his usual role and, and has continued, uh, despite also leading a very, very large department and council uh, but as he would quickly say, he's been very, very ably supported by a terrific project team with Greg Thomas as the project manager and, of course, James Hepburn uh, coming uh, on board over the last 12 months. But as Sean has communicated uh, on our staff intranet in recent days, it really has been a, a many-hands effort by teams right across council, uh, including our field staff helping us move boxes and assemble desks and all sorts of things on the weekend before the move-in. So we're really, really proud of the, the team effort. And just to echo the comments on the Children's Library, it does bring um, tears to your eyes. Uh, it, it's very moving. It's, it is quite inspirational. And uh, if I could note that the uh, CEO and State Librarian of the State Library of Queensland has asked if the Library Board of Queensland could come and have their regional visit uh, in Ipswich to absolutely uh, come and see the Children's Library, uh, but also the Rosewood and Springwood Central Library. So they're very keen to see the work that's been done 
here for the residents mm -hmm. of, of Ipswich. Thank you. Uh, thank you, CEO, for, for those comments. And, and you know, I know um, Mayor Harding and fellow councillors um, certainly echo those sentiments. And I really didn't want to specifically call out individuals because this has been a huge group effort by council officers for many, many years, despite the, the elected reps that, that came and went along the way and um, you guys have really driven that project. But uh, yes, we, we have joked amongst our councillors that um, it's sort of being referred to as the house that, that Sean uh, built. <laughs> so congratulations to you and your team. Okay. I think we need to move to a vote. If there's nothing further, all those in favour? Confirming that's unanimous. Councillor Jonick, how do you vote? Affirmative. Thank you, Councillor Jonick. That's unanimous and carried. Uh, and I think that's bringing us to a close. We don't have any notices of motion. No, no matters arising. So we will close uh, the meeting at 11.49. Thank you.